Hey, here we are going to write a simple script called hello.c that prints out hello world. And before we move on to the commands in GCC, let's write um, hello.c and install GCC. So let's go to my terminal. And to print out hello world, I need to use a function called printf. And since I'm using printf, I, I, I need to specify um, the header file for printf, which is studio.h. And I also need to install GCC. And first, let's see if GCC is installed on my machine. And it's not, that means I need to use sudo apt get. This command install GCC and apt here is a, oh, it's not a, a, apt, it's apt. And apt here is a package map manager for Ubuntu OS and apt helps installing softwares. And it looks like it's installed now. Let's check the version. And yep, GCC 7.5.0 is installed. And now let's move on to command. The first command we have is gcc hello.c and it creates an executable file called a.l or a.exe. And a here is a default name. Yeah, it creates executable called a.l and executing this a.l should um, print out hello world. Yep, I got it. Now let's move on. gcc o hello exe. And this dash O can specify the name of the output. I'm going to call it um, hello world. And this hello world should output the same output as a dot out. Yep, I got the right command. Also you can use dash I or dash L to specify the path to the header file or library. And at this point, you might have a question about hello.c. Because hello.c is using the um, so studio.h, but when I use a compiler GCC, I, I didn't use dash i to specify the path to the header file studio.h. The reason for this is because studio.h is a standard library and GCC links standard library by default. So I didn't have to specify the path to it when I compile it. Uh, moving on, we have the command called GCC-C and that she creates an object file. So in this case, it creates hello.o. And lastly, I want to, uh, yeah, and there's a command called file, and this prints out the type of a file. So if, if I do hello.c, it tells me it's in C. And here is GCC commands corresponding to the full picture of compiling process of GCC. And this command here, it goes from all the way from source code to executable machine code. And this code here at gcc-c hello.c, this goes from source code to machine code. Then this machine code can become executable machine code by link linking library.